From Washington this morning is Dr. Ann Shuket. She is director of the Centers for Disease Control's National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. We just heard Dean say that they had hoped to have 30 million doses of this vaccine by the end of the month, and they probably will. So when will the next 10 million come in? You know, more vaccine is coming out every day. It's just that the production has not yielded as, as great amounts as we had hoped. And so we are a bit behind. Important for people to know that we are making, you know, the companies are making vaccine and more vaccines coming out each day. But you'll need to stay informed about what is available near you, where vaccine is being offered. We wish we had more vaccine, but unfortunately, the virus and its production of vaccine isn't really cooperating. As, as the mother of a four-year-old, I have to tell you that, that I think it's more than a bit behind. I know initially we had said October, now it could be December. And if I'm someone who's waiting and waiting and waiting, I, I want to know when. What, can you yes. tell us when we can expect it to finally arrive? No, there's, there are uh, vaccine doses being shipped each day. And right now we're expecting that during November there'll be widespread availability. Um, vaccine production is somewhat unpredictable and we're projecting ahead as far as we can. We're expecting by November that there'll be a lot of doses and more will be coming out each month. Enough doses that many states will be offering school located vaccination efforts, that more doctors offices will have the product, that you might start to see it in, in pharmacies and, and drugstore chains. Um, but unfortunately we know a lot of people want to be vaccinated right now and the, there's not that much vaccine out. But it's so important to know there are other things that each of us can do. Staying home when you're sick, keeping your children home from school when they're sick, washing your hands, covering your cough or sneeze. And of course, if you do have symptoms and are at greater risk for complications, seek medical attention because the antiviral medicines can be very important. Doctor, so we have uh, an idea what to expect. You said November. Are you thinking early, mid or late November? Well, as I said, numbers are increasing every day. And Please so give there, us your best estimate because it's something that people really need to know. I think that during November there'll be vaccine that is well widely available, more coming every week. And so I think by mid-November there's going to be quite a lot of vaccine out there. Um, right now, of course, vaccines are being offered each day. So I think this is one of those situations where you have to stay informed. In the meantime, what do you suggest that schools do if their students aren't being vaccinated and we're seeing the school in Illinois that has shut down because so, so many children have called in sick? Is it enough to just keep the regular precautions of hand washing or should schools go further, maybe ban uh, big gatherings or close down sooner? What do you suggest? The key issue with gatherings is for people who are sick not to go to them, to stay home if they are sick or having fever, for instance. Um, the schools have really been doing a terrific job, I think. The Department of Education worked closely with CDC over the summer to issue new school guidance. And the reality is, with the severity of virus that we have right now, we're trying to balance reducing transmission and the disruption that it can cause. So it's appropriate for local decision makers to close a school when there are not enough teachers or there are just too few students there to keep going. But in most circumstances, schools are able to stay open um, just mm -hmm. to remind parents to keep their kids home if they're sick. All right. Right, Dr. Ann Shuket, thanks so much for your time. My pleasure. Okay. Now